I believe it. Oh, yeah, it is recording. Yeah. So good morning, Terry. Good morning, everybody. This is the Woman of the Stars group chat. But today we are doing a uh, collective reading. A lot of people are at work. A lot of people are busy. If they're available after, we'll do private readings. But um, I'm here with my partner, Terry, out in what part of Canada? In Winnipeg, central part of the country, right in the middle. How's the weather? How's the weather? It's very hot. <laughs> and, yeah, we go from one extreme to the other. It's it's probably uh, well, it's going to be around thirty today Celsius. So that's the high eighties in Fahrenheit, I think. And uh, yeah. it's in and England, the winds have been really strong. And from the south, and very dry. So when she's going very, very hot, you guys in Florida, we call that winter. <laughs> <laughs> Seventy-eight <laughs> degrees is not hot. Okay. <laughs> well, anyway, so here in Orlando, in Cocoa Beach is eighty-two. You know where it's cold? Fife out there. Is that Scotland? Yeah. Or is that okay? So that's 64 still. So shame on them. Cairo is 86. Luxor is 93. Wow. In Orlando, 84. So I feel right at home today because, you know, Mm. it starts hitting the 80s here around 8 a.m. or so. Whoa. I I went out on the balcony and had my breakfast this morning and got my my son because look how look how tanned I am. Well, you're always on vacation. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're always on vacation. Let me show you. Right? Ah! It's how we look at life. My little ring light, you guys. I got two so ring lights. Um, um, this throughout the end of the month, we're going to see what you're going to the coming month has to hold for us all collectively yeah i i okay so i thought i would take um um a draw a card from the enchanted map from um colette bear and reed just to, uh just to see collectively what the map is showing us where are we headed over the next over the next month and so i'm only going to take one card from here and oh it's about 36 it's about commitment so uh that's kind of interesting that this is what june is going to hold for us (laughs) actually isn't it interesting though june has uh traditionally been the month of weddings you know we always talk about being a june bride but i think commitment has to do with all of us in our um, and, and being committed to ourselves and oh. our journey um, in in our life, you know, we have a tendency to um, to be giving for all the other people and giving ourselves here and giving ourselves there. But maybe it's time for us to step back and look at ourselves and what are we committed to in for ourselves rather than committing to everybody else. What are we committing to ourselves and how are we committing that? And it's our journey and sometimes we forget that how we experience things is just totally our experience. It isn't necessarily um, what we think other people are going to say or do and whatever. This is our journey and other people's perceptions don't really matter when we are when we are working with ourselves and moving forward on our own. And so perhaps this is a time for us to step back, put a put a shield around ourselves in saying that I'm committed to my development, to my moving forward. All of these other um interjections from other people and other influences are only that and so what am i going to allow into my field and what am i not going to allow into my field so i think it's about 
committing to being within ourselves and, and being true to ourselves. So that is the commitment point. And so um, from that one, but I'm also going to take um, from this deck and it's um, the Sacred Forest by Denise Lynn. And um, this particular deck is all about um, the nature spirits. And so because we're in June, we're at the end of spring and going into summer, um, really being part of nature is really important um, at this point. And so the nature spirits are going to tell us with regard to a group. Um, the bee spirit is about prosperity. The aspen spirit is about courage. And the fire spirit is about energy. So the way that I am seeing these is with the prosperity, we have to find our courage. So if we look at the courage card, we're, we're going to, um, when I talked about commitment, maybe it's all about how we um, find our commitment to ourselves. And then we take that courage that, that we have and actually commit to ourselves by doing that, by taking, taking the um, things that are available to us and who we are and standing firm in who we are in our commitment to ourselves. And we do have the support. We have the energy that supports us, you know, the fire spirit. What are we doing? We're getting into summer. So that summer, summer is about fire. So we have the, the, the elements are here to support us as we move through the, and transition into this, this um, gathering our power, gathering our energy, gathering our full um, being. And when we do that, we're going to have that prosperity we're looking for. And prosperity can be financial, but it can be emotional. It can be mental. It can be more than just, uh, it can be relationships. It can be all of those things. But I believe that by us finding our, uh, by committing to ourselves, we will have the support from the elementals to bring in that prosperity that we're looking for. Um, and, and so we can step forward on our path with courage and um, knowing that we have the energy that's going to support us. Um, and so, you know, we can look at, um, when we look a little bit closer with these, you can see here with the Aspen, you know, you've got the butterflies, you've got the castle, you've got, um, it's a number three. Um, so it's stepping forward onto a path that may not have been um, necessarily um, set out for us, but we will walk it and we will create our own path instead of being shown a path by other people telling us to do this or do that. When we step into our own power, we create our path and it takes courage to walk that, but we do have the support around us of the summer, of the fire, um, and the energy. And this is another one with the spirit and uh, energy spirit oracle by uh, Sandra Ann Taylor. And i um, just going to see, we'll add to that. And see which three cards will come up with these.
So with this one, the three cards are Currents of Emotions, Uncontrolled Feelings. Second one is Conscious Steps, Considered Actions and Looking Forward. And the third one is Connections, Partnerships, Contract and Commitment. So it, it's interesting how they all fall together because with the currents of emotions, those uncontrolled feelings that we have, those are, when we have uncontrolled feelings, we have to step back and say, are these feelings mine or are people projecting onto me? And um, a lot of times we are picking up from a mass, the mass consciousness and that mass consciousness is being funneled through people around us. And so they are showing um, emotional things that are not necessarily even about them. It's about what's happening at the mass. So when we run into these currents of emotions and uncontrolled feelings, that's a signal for us to just step back and say, wait a minute what really belongs to me and what is this that's coming around me? And so that perhaps is what we were talking about is, is finding the courage to just step aside from all that and just and consider, consider what kind of actions, what, what are you looking forward to? Stay committed to your being, to yourself, and being able to move forward and just let the other um, emotions, let the other feelings, let those all fall aside and just ask yourself, how am I moving forward along my path? And um, I know that I have, I have the support by my spirit guides, by, by my higher self. It's, it's, all, it's, it's all around me. So what am I going to let into my field and what am I going to just leave to the outside? Because afterwards, we will get that partnership, the contract, the commitment. And, and that commitment is for ourselves to move forward. And it's about us. It's not about, it's not really about anyone else. This is our life and how we're going to move forward. And I believe that just this month of June going into the summer, we have, we have really strong energies that are here to help us as we progress along our path and move forward. And uh, just making that commitment to ourselves and who we are, that will, uh, we will have the support to move ahead. And any comments? Jack, thanks. Yes. Yeah. Good questions about that. Erica. You want to comment on any of that? It's a lot, right? So you were talking about commitment. And uh, I think, too, a lot of times when we, we commit to a decision or we get our answer from our guys and we get our our um, guidance, people second guess you, but I mean, I guess that's their job. That's what they're there to do. Some people are here to support you, but some are not. And they can send this, send you into a tailspin wondering, should I, what if I, or even the negative thoughts that you might get in your head. Cause you have that first answer, first answer, best answer. And then, then you have all those little negative voices that come along to deter you and and it makes you begin to doubt yourself or people can come in and like pick away and make you doubt yourself. I know certain people, when they ask me a lot of questions about stuff, it makes me think, well, why are you asking me all those questions? <laughs> really? Cause it's sometimes, so I make, I make decisions based on my heart and make, and make moves based on my heart whatever I feel my guidance is. But then when people ask me a lot of questions, it makes me think that maybe other people think that there's something wrong with my judgment. 
And sometimes I don't like to explain myself, but guess what? You don't always have to explain yourself, right? But then too, when you get those negative thoughts in your head, that's really not your higher self talking because your higher self isn't really negative. It, it doesn't talk a lot. It might say, no, stop, don't. But it doesn't say, you're so stupid. What are you thinking? What are you doing? Like your, your higher self does not do a lot of chatter. No. It just tells you the answer straight out. So sometimes you have to learn the difference between the two voices because there is a negative, uh, there's a negative voice, this um, like a like an opposition, but then there's also guidance, and you got to separate between the do the two, and um, also when it comes to people, I don't say don't tell people about your decisions because you you do want witness to what you're doing. That's a part of the process of building your own faith and um, calling things into being is to have a witness, but maybe choose your witnesses wisely. People that you know are supportive, who actually know you and understand you, rather than people who have no clue where you are in your journey. You know, and, you know, because what happens is some people outside of your journey will come along with their doubts and insecurities and fears. And when they're talking to you, they're bringing that to the conversation. I think what I really see about, I've had one teacher for the last, um, now I think it's been a year because we went to Egypt together and I've seen her as such an amazing person that as she coaches people, she doesn't implant her own fears and doubts into their decisions but she basically cherishes you and she might ask you, well, what's the plan? You know, like, well, what is your plan? Um, and then you allow the person, she allows you to go for it. And I've never seen her of all my crazy plans. Cause I can have some crazy plans y'all that <laughs> she never says, Oh my God, Erica, are you sure? Are you okay? You know, she might ask me what my plan is, but she never implants any fear or doubt. And I, I was just thinking about this the other day, how much I appreciate her for being able to hold the space, not just for me, but for so many people where she doesn't mess, she doesn't judge them or fear them. And she allows you to basically go forward. But I know that if I need somebody to witness something for me, that she'll always be able to witness for me in a positive manner that doesn't implant that doubt. Um, but once you do make that decision to commit, I say go for it. Even if say it's like a thing where you don't have the money for it or you don't have the time for it, put set, set a date for whatever your plans are and allow your guides and universe, you know, or what people want to say, infinite intelligence source to bring you the answers to how it's going to piece itself together and you will be amazed. But first you have to actually show, you know, source that you really want it. So you do make a commitment to it. You write a set a date for whatever that goal is. And then you ask to be shown the different ways that this thing can happen. And then you actually take steps because universe, um, infinite intelligence wants you to show it that you want it. It wants you to, to not just be sitting and flapping your gums talking about, oh, I want and I wish and I hope and I sure wish I had. Those aren't really signs of action. Those don't make the universe move forward in your favor. You actually have to commit to it, write it, set a date and actually start taking steps. That might be calling the travel agency and getting prices. That might be going around and calling a realtor to go look at houses. That might be, you know, going to the car dealership and sitting in one of the cars. Or it might be joining a dating site or finding a place where you can go find the person. Maybe you're changing something in your routine where you actually go scuba diving or some place where you can actually meet people and make friends, um, joining different groups where you can meet people and make friends, taking a class or something like that. Or actually, if it's a skill you're trying to do, actually signing up for classes. So it takes action to get it started. 
So as you commit, this is so funny that you said this and we're talking about water because my first job as a waitress, I was a waitress and the man grabbed my hand. I would spill drinks all the time because I'd be pouring and I'd be like, uh, and the man grabbed my hand and he said, you got to commit. And he just poured it. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, I got to attack my customer. But um, it was so funny because he just said, you got to just grab it and just Pour it, right? Don't worry about what's spilling on the side. Don't worry about, you know, the things dripping out. Don't, you know, stop all the trembling and just do it. It's so funny because we, I just told this story the other day and we've been really talking a lot about water. So whatever it is that you do, you, you can't be doing it with fear and trembling. You got to just go for it. Um, 100%. Don't worry about what other people are thinking and what they're talking about and the little naysayers. You got to shoo away those negative voices in your head. And maybe that's something that you got to write down, ball it up on a piece of paper and throw it in the trash. Outward signs like that, that it actually helps. It really literally does. Or sometimes I'll say, get out of my head or I rebuke you or I'll write whatever the negative thought is and set it on fire. But you got to get past the negative chit chat and the um the extra voices in your head and actually make a commitment to making changes in your life instead of just saying, I sure wish I sat next to a girl. It drove me crazy. She said, I sure wish I had a million dollars. And I just wanted to beat her. I just wanted to get something and just beat her upside the head with it because she she was so artistic. She made soap, she made lotion, she did all these things, but she would she had a book she wanted to write. I said, hey, I'll help you edit. She was just, no. And she was just sitting on her ass instead of like really going for it, you know? And um, that don't you think that's how people around you might feel when they hear you always yawning, talking about what you want to do, or even how might, how might God, universe, God feel that, you know, my, you know, the universal mother, father looking at you like, okay, get off your ass. Come on, let's do it. Like, like miracle makers like making miracles happen. So they don't want you sitting around like your guides, the runners, the angels, whatever it is that you work with, your team is tired of seeing you not have, they're tired of seeing you uh, suffering and they really want you to employ them to really go out and make things happen. You know, it's either you, um, you dissipate create or you dissipate. So if you're not busy growing and changing and moving, you're busy falling apart and deteriorating. So just um, take that to heart today because it's June. Um, it's almost June in two, in two days. The year is half empty or half full. So you still got time, it's half full. It's, it's, <laughs> you still got half of the year to make some real power moves and make some really big changes and make some waves that you could be proud of. So get off your butt, get off of here, talking to people in random groups about shit you already know the answers to. <laughs> You already know now and, and go make action in your own life. Don't watch the game. Go play the game. I'm really feeling this is so important for people. Stop watching other people play the game and get in there and play the game. Hit you a triple double for yourself because I need you to come back and tell me how great that stuff was because that makes me excited as well. Right, Terry? <laughs> Right. And it, it goes back to what is our intention? Are we committed? Are we committed to ourselves? Right. And that's why and that's what the universe is telling us today. Be committed, committed, committed to yourself. You know, we can be committed to other people, but if this is our life and nobody else is going to experience our life, you know, they may want to tell us what to do, but it's important to show up for yourself. And we have guides, we have our higher self, but we have to show up and, and not right. wait, and not wait for somebody, oh, if I had a million dollars, well, what are you doing to make your million dollars? You know, like even go out and buy a lottery ticket if that's what you have to do. But do it, just do something. It's not going to come if you if you're not 
committed to your life. You know, that's commitment, intention, how do we flow? But we have, you know, the cards have shown us, we have all of the support that we need. We just need to have the courage to move forward. The energy's there. Consider your actions. If you're not sure, sit down. Just sit down and take a life review of, of where you are right now. What has gone before? Where are you right now? And what do you want to see happen to your in your life? You know, like just just showing up blindly is not going to there's no direction and the universe is gonna have it, it's got a default, right? If you want something, you've got to set your sights to that. If you don't, you're just going to go into the default mode. And it's just like, oh, just some more of the same old stuff. No. Set yourself set yourself up to what's important for your, prog your progress. And the last part of that is I really, you know, I didn't go into the military till I was almost 30. I was 29 years old because every time I ever decided I wanted to go since childhood, someone else always told me not to. And finally, what I, I saw this movie and this girl said, the world is just a big old place for us to fuck up in. And I was like, yeah, like if I mess it up, let it be my own fault. Because you've seen those people that said, I would have did this if it wasn't for my kids. And I would have done this if it wasn't for my family. And they have everyone in the world to blame. So I wanted to be able to live my life. And if I mess it up, let me be able to blame myself for it. And not be looking at everybody else like, well, I would have done this, but so-and-so said that, you know, I have family members that are like completely miserable and all they talk about is what they would have done if it wasn't for anybody else. And I like, even with my own mom, I would say, well, you know, <laughs> that's your problem, lady. But because <laughs> I didn't make anybody not go be an artist or I didn't make anybody not fulfill their dreams. And, you know, that's an easy, nice little excuse for why you didn't try, right? And so I, I even thought this last week before the trip, I have failed at nothing. And a lot of people are scared to try because they're scared they're going to fail. But anything that I did that I feel like there was effort behind it, there had some kind of results, it wasn't the expected results. So I haven't failed at anything. I just look at it as that's just I tried a whole lot more shit than a lot of other people. Right. And that's what entrepreneurs do. So be an entrepreneur in a spiritual sense and try um, different things, attempt to do different things, because each one of those things is a tool or um, something that you can an experience that you had to get you closer to finding out what your true mission is. Who are the people you're supposed to be? What are the things you're really supposed to do? But these little uh, attempts that we make, each one of a, each one of them, even if it doesn't seem like a true accomplishment, you are achieving something because you are achieving being the you that you want to be. The you that you want to be is a person of action that gets things done, that gets to witness miracles, that actually makes things happen, that actually creates miracles in other people's lives. So hopefully you got some time for some personal readings. Terry only has about 30 more minutes. I have 15. So um, if somebody wants a card for themselves, we will go ahead and do that and I will press this button to stop recording. Okay. Okay. Say bye, Terry. You gotta say bye. 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 We bye. will see you. We will see you in uh, probably not until next month, right? Till July. Right. Because we're gonna be busy messing up our lives and doing stuff. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, we're gonna be busy. <laughs> we're committing. We're committing to our lives. <laughs> That's right. We're gonna be committing to doing some new things, and then we'll come back and tell you all about it. <laughs>